Welcome back for another near protocol price prediction analysis video and in this video I will be giving you areas that near needs to continue holding above in the next coming hours areas of resistances that we also need to see a break above and also give you reasons why we can see another massive pump and get above the 2.4 dollar mark in the next coming hours and at the time of this recording near is holding above the 20 day ma here on the four hour chart which is now acting as support for us to continue gearing up and this movement to the upper side has continued to obey the edu 12 structures and zooming out on the charts you can see that on the 19th of october we saw our significant low at around the 0.97 dollar mark before we started this massive push to the upper side in a move that gave us a high above the 1.69 dollar mark in a move that i'm terming as the formation of this edu 12 count one to the upper side and after seeing the formation of that first wave we started a corrective structure over here in the formation of this wave 2 into the minimum target areas for the second wave and there are high chances that we bottomed out in the formation of this wave 2 and whatever we are seeing at the moment is the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3 before we can expect a wave 4 and then a wave 5 to the upper side and to just show you that the second wave over here did the minimum that we expect a second wave to the lower side to do by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one I had a minimum target area for the second wave between the Fib level 0 0.382 and the Fib level 0 0.618 and I can mark that target area here on the charts like that where you can easily see that we saw a bit of a pullback into the target area got a low in place then we saw a reaction to the upper side starting this impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3 to the upper side and the minimum target areas for the third wave can be given by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618 and that is above the 2.423 dollar mark and that is the minimum that we can expect near to do in the next coming hours and there are chances that maybe in the next coming hours we might see a bit of a pullback and once we have a low in place for that cool off then we can continue gearing up until we hit our minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 and the areas that i'm saying that we need to continue holding in the next coming hours can be given by using the fibonacci's connecting the fibs from the low of the second wave down here to the high that we have made today at around the 2.2 dollar mark giving me an area which we need to continue holding above in case we see a pullback in the next coming hours and that is between the fib level 0 0.382 and the fib level 0 0.618 between the 1.852 dollar mark and the 1.636 dollar mark as long as we continue holding above this area there are high chances that at some point we are going to see a reversal here on the near chart see a reversal to the upper side and see a break above the today's high at around the 2.2 dollar mark flip it into support continue gearing up and get above the 2.4 dollar mark on the worst case scenario in case this pullback continues and we get into this red target area and continue heading further down then that will be suggesting that we are now losing momentum to continue gearing up and we need to restructure our additive structure here on the charts so that is what i'm keeping my eyes on here on the near chart on the short term and i hope that video was of much help to you and i hope to catch you in the next one